And now we're on to the final hour of Dragon Age 2 for the weekend. Let's see. What are we doing in here again? <laughs> I really don't remember. I'm just like, oh, okay. This is where I thought it was. Retrieve the will from the battle. Get ready! Have a described it, but this is the first time I've seen it. Wouldn't it feel like something to live in a house with this above the door? Mm-hmm. Would feel like that. I don't like the looks of it. Oh, man, I saw that trap like a second too late. One pet peeve I have that goes beyond all the pet peeves. Or that I can't. It's so hard to just create a this door is barred flag. Or like make it look so that like the door is broken or something. to know about our family is inside. This is it! Grandfather's will. Mother needs to see this as soon as possible. I still want to look around. All right, but hurry. Just 
take this to high town, is that it? It seems like it. Yeah, whatever. Are you really not afraid of apostates? Not even a giant tree. Well, I'm closest to the Sunshine, so I'm a dwarf. In case you missed that detail. Dwarves aren't completely immune to magic, you know. No, no, no. I meant there are at least 30 people in this town who'd murder my family over trade deals. I like the Chantry. This is the only place in Hightown where the Merchant's Guild won't come looking for me. Children to have the drifting waves of the fade. I'm oh. here to make a donation. I wish. Strange, like it gives you XP, but it doesn't tell you how much it gives you. Keep opening doors. Never thought that you. That was like the body of someone or something that I was giving information about. It just. It's very. callous. There's some stuff up there in the center. I'm sorry you had to witness that disgraceful scene by the Chanter's board. I am Elthina, Grand Cleric of Kirkwall. Sebastian's normally a good lad, but he's had a terrible shock. I keep wanting to go one, but... Sebastian? Was that his name? Sebastian Vale. He was affirmed here nearly a decade ago. He had just been invested as a brother when we got the news about his family. I'm afraid he reacted rashly, denied his vows and left the Chantry. If the Maker wills it, he will return to himself before it's too late. So he's some kind of priest? He is an initiate of the faith. As a man, he cannot serve as a mother would. But he has led the chant here many times. Before last week, I would have said he was the most faithful of our true believers. He said someone murdered his family. Sebastian is the youngest passing. son of the ruling family of Starkhaven. They were overthrown recently. Violently. Sebastian is the only surviving member. His royalty? Prince Sebastian Vale. If just he succeeds in his pledge to take back his lands, he made a vow to the Maker to put worldly concerns behind him. It is a sin to forswear himself for a mere title. I think his family deserves to be avenged. Sebastian would spend his coin to buy men's lives, the same as those who attacked his family. No matter how justified he feels, that is murder. 
And when he returns, I will tell him so again. Hmm. Okay, so I need to... Mm, that's all I care about the change. Oh, wait. No, no, okay. That was uh, something else to look at. some warnings for the lawless who's that for the most criminals big readers seems like pacifying the nobles pictures then that it was just a suggestion somewhere well how about a giant Master sign that just says don't this is a rare just people with it let's go see Nazis. see who's missing body parts at this time so i'm just saying Blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. It's only fair if you make something of a God. monthly I'm contribution. Such an asshole. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Um, uh, maybe yeah. just yeah, put something towards food. Like that. You should be paying us, Uncle. We found the will. He forgave you, Mother. Grandfather left you everything. Here, read it. Uh, ah, I should maybe... To my daughter, Leandra, and all children born of her, the estate in Hightown and all associated revenues... Keep reading. Check out the part where Gamlin is left only a stipend to be controlled by you. Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is. You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Such an asshole you are. Why don't you go pick up something at the market? You could use some air. What? Hey! I can't believe Gamlin stole Mother's entire inheritance. I mean, I can believe it. That's the worst part. I would never turn against you. You're a better person than Gamlin could ever be. Well, hopefully we'll be out of here soon. You know, when we went to look for that will, I thought we were doing it for Mother, for what she lost. I didn't realize how much it would mean to me to know I had grandparents who didn't hate me. 
They might have been all right with the Ferelden thing, but just imagine if they'd known you were an apostate. <laughs> You're such a wretch. I was just hoping it would be different this time. Here in Kirkwall. We're not running away again. We're coming home. We are going to make this our home, Bethany. I promise you. I hope so, brother. She's I'm so die. very tired of running. This is something bad's gonna happen to her. I just know it. Now she wants to talk again. I think this is a picture of Mother. She looks like you. Where did you get that? Was it at the estate? Let me see. Is it? I think this is Mother's betrothal portrait from when she was supposed to marry the Comte. Look! You can see the ring. She was much happier with Father. I know she loved Father. I guess... I just wondered if she'd have been happier if he hadn't been a mage. If I wasn't a mage. I know that made it hard for Mother. It's nice to have a reminder of a time when she still knew how to smile. No, no, no. I've got friendship with Bethany. She doesn't have anything that unlocks with friendship, and that's what makes you think. Yeah, no. That's what makes me think that something bad's gonna happen. Let's see the black one for him anyway, just to get it off the top. So, here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope I you'll do. Unseasoned? I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Serves me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no work. God, Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is I mean, going in on. General, there's illusions I do like. I like all the your first mistake was naming your mine the Bone Pit. The locals named the mine. Those fools say it's cursed. That is why I hire Ferelden's. They may be dull-witted, but they're not superstitious. Mind what you say about my countrymen. I was not referring to you, of course. My workers are a particularly desperate sort. They're lucky to work for me. Few in Kirkwall will hire refugees. What's the reward? I will pay handsomely. The exact amount depends on what perils you face. Uh -huh. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Such Any map will show it. Right. 
I find that so weird. They can't equip the weapons. Way around a weapon. Buy some. So, do you put always a pleasure, Hawk? Do we get rinsed into things? Alden, I wish to speak with you. I've heard you have dealings with certain elements in the city. You can get things done on the sly, as they say. Go here on the sly. That's a fancy way to put it. I am a magistrate in this city, and as such, I wish to hire you for a small, albeit important job. A man I sentenced to a life in prison has escaped custody. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. A request that should have been made of the guard. What was the man's crime? Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. Why is there such a yeah. clamor? To... He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. We're both intelligent people. There's something in the ruins, isn't there? There is something, yes. There are creatures in the ruins. The guards I sent are ill-equipped to deal with such beasts. Do you know what manner of beasts they are? I don't know what they look like. I've never seen one you, myself. You just tell me. The guards say these things have already torn through a full company of men. Fine, I'll just do it. I'll take the job. Bring the fugitive in alive, quickly and quietly. Not only will you be well paid, you'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. Useful for a refugee, wouldn't you agree? Not really. Alright, so we gotta go to the other thing in this area and then... I don't want to advance the Anders quest, I don't think, just yet. It's like, I've got a half hour left I'm gonna stream. I think I kinda want to do some combat. So I have a feeling I'll probably go and do... Uh, quest he just mentioned. Monsters in... Some sort of boneyard that sounds, um, or not boneyard, it's some sort of ruins that sounds cool. Just look around like an idiot. Be careful if you're going into the rows. It's a favorite hangout of crime bosses and tax collectors. Yep. Well, I've got something new to do, so. Going into the rows. And here we are in the brothel. My day is complete. Let's not stay here for long. Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. I think you let this get away from you. I, I had never thought to see this again. Thank you. Okay. I'm assuming that was just the random, like... Thing I found in the middle of nowhere. The chest. I 
guessing this is just like a cosmopolitan city because there doesn't seem to be any kind of consistent accents. And given the name the Free Marches, it sounds like this is where everyone comes. Because <laughs> we're in a brothel. Because that was an intended joke. He didn't really ask you to wear a feather boa. All Asians, darling. The merchandise get is up used front. To it. I don't care how much that man pays, I am not I've rubbing your people's feet again and until he bathes. Disgusting. Many thanks, Madam Sue. I won't mention this to your mother if you don't. Welcome to the Blooming Rose. Personally, I wouldn't say it's blooming precisely, but the name's not my I can do whatever I want. You're not the boss of me. I'll get your order in a minute. Being a guardsman seems like a better life than being a soldier. Oh? My brother was a soldier. I don't soldier. think I can do that. It's all about taking land and serving some king you've never met. Guardsmen, they do something real. They protect people. They make their lives... Let's do it. I don't know if I agree. Neither would my brother. Give a rat's ass about your brat. She pays me a copper every time I kick the little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Two means and a dwarven ale. That was mildly interesting. Avert your eyes. Huh. Well, I just lost a sovereign. I didn't think you'd stoop to our kind again. Indeed. Or are you not too proud to make some coin? Pride usually hasn't been my downfall. Since you stormed off, we don't have anyone who can quite work your magic. If you know what I mean. I sent some men to fence a bit of cargo down at the docks. I haven't seen them since. Yeah, we can go I'd pay good that. silver for the safe return of them, or the goods. Want to tell me what you were selling? We were trying to make a deal with the Carta. Those Orzammar dwarves. They like luxury items. Fine fabrics, a cask of caviar, an aged wine. Anything one can liberate from a high town merchant. Okay, yeah, sure. This is not babies. Consider it a deal. Good. No children are Go to the docks tonight. My boy Price was supposed to meet our buyers from the Carta there. Maybe you can find out what happened. For the love of God. Is that your last? Um, I don't want to go to the back of the board right now. It's good to be abandoned. Some of it's a good way to spend the last twenty to thirty minutes. Okay, Let's some guards here. Some I hear you're in need of a bit of help. Ah, so you're the reinforcements the Magistrate promised. The man you're looking for, he's like holed up in the ruins. Though I doubt he's still in one piece. That bastard's to be brought in alive after all he's done? Just because it isn't you and your pretty little Shemlin children he's after. Look at these guards. I doubt either of them has to worry about having pretty children. <laughs> That's not what I meant. The man you're after, he targeted my <laughs> He dragged my daughter into those ruins and killed her! I want him dead! That was pretty funny. Can we just my hang girl, him in town? My Leah, uh, she wasn't his first victim. Over the years, he's taken dozens of our children, and not once has he paid for his crimes. A man who murders children won't survive long in the courts of Kirkwall. No! Don't you understand? If you take him in, he'll be free again by nightfall! You have so little faith in the law. Unfortunately, I think he has total confidence in the law. That's the problem. For all my damn coin, I'm still only an elf to these Shemlin. 
There'll be no justice for my girl in the courts of Kirkwall. What do you say about all this? Yes. What do you have to say? They won't go in after him. They're stalling. Trying to give the murdering bastard a chance to get away. Oi now, Elf. Like we said before, you're bleeding mad if you think we'll be going against the Magistrate's orders. This murderer cannot be allowed to walk free. Then that bastard will finally get what he deserves. Thank you. Not wise, stranger. You try to take justice into your own hands, the Magistrate will have your head. Only if it's reported. Well, we'll be quiet then. Hmm. I'm not sure if that was a good choice. But maybe, Evelyn, you shouldn't judge me on what I say, but what I do.
can't open the door. It's kind of weird. Let's open this door. Again, this is very much on rails. There's only one direction I can go and get to the end. Just a little Who are you? Please, can you get me out of here? I just want to go home. Leah, your father told us you were dead. My father? Is he safe? Kelder said that he'd hurt my family if I didn't come with him. Who is Kelder? The man who took me. How did you escape your dastardly kidnapper? Kick to the groin, sand in the eyes, rock to the head? Kelder? No, he let me go. I tried to make it to the entrance, but I hid when those creatures showed up. Let's take you I back. thought I heard him calling for me. I almost went back to him. I didn't want to be eaten. But Kelder, he was... He hit me, told me I was nothing. I begged him to stop hurting me. I didn't think he would, but out of nowhere, he pushed me away and just no, started crying. No. Don't you see? He didn't mean to hurt me. He told me. There are demons. They make him do these horrible things. What kind of demons? What did they look like? I don't know what they look like. I didn't actually see any of them. But Kelder told me to run, to get away so they couldn't make him hurt me anymore. Please don't kill him. It's not his fault. Please. Kelder is dangerous, Leah. If he fights back, I can't promise he won't get hurt. He won't fight you, I promise. Run to the entrance. You'll find your father there. Interesting. Trap! Done!
a stealth bad guy back there. What is going on? That was just weird. Oh well, I think we're almost done this time. So I think probably when we have this resolved is what the stream is. I knew my father would eventually send someone. I was hoping the beasts down here would get to me first. You wanted those creatures to kill you? Why? It's what I deserve. I should be torn apart, forgotten down here, not protected by my father. From the Magistrate's vague description, I expected a hardened criminal, not a whining coward. He didn't tell you, did he? The Magistrate is my father. He's tried so hard to keep me, and what I've done, hidden away. I'm disgusted by the both of them. The Magistrate is supposed to protect the people of the city, and that includes the Elves. Father is a good man. He tried to help to stop me, but he can't. No one can. That elf girl, she had no right to be so beautiful, so perfect. The demon said she needed to be taught a lesson, like all the others. The circle was supposed to help me, but they lied. They said there were no demons, that I was mad. This isn't my fault. Leah said you told her to run. Why? I was... crying, and she asked me if I was all right. After everything the demons made me do to her, she was concerned about me. How could I let them destroy something so good, so pure? Just make him tranquil. Let me get this straight. You torture and murder elven children for being too beautiful. I... I didn't want to hurt them. They forced me. The demons don't like it when they cry. It's obvious that you're not well. You need help. No. I'm not mad. It's the demons. I can't stop. I've tried so many times. Please, you have to kill me. There's no other way. Just tell my father I'm sorry. For everything. Let the court sort this out. It may end the same way, eventually. No! I don't want to hurt anyone else. I'd rather die. Really? Really? The, the guard lady is like... Okay. Shush, girl. You don't know what you're saying. You're still in shock. 
You let him live, even after what he did? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You shem stick together. He's right here. Finish him off if you like. I doubt he'll put up much of a fight. No, Papa! I need to get my family out of Kirkwall. That's the only way we'll be safe from that monster. We'll take the prisoner from here. The Magistrate will be happy to see him in one piece. Well... Guess we'll go see the Magistrate. Welcome to the High Town Market. Welcome to the High Town Market. I don't fucking care. Pardon me. Shake down the magistrate. Have you seen a dog? I found your son. Son? I don't know what you're talking about. If you stop pretending nothing's wrong, Maybe you can help him. You think you know it all, don't you? Yes, yes I do. Your tone says there's truth to this. I am not going to lose my son because a handful of elves make up ridiculous stories. You'll not mention this again. I won't talk, but he is known. How long before they connect him to you? I will protect my family no matter the cost for Elden. Would you do any different? Take your damned reward. I'm done here. Well, Aveline really doesn't like me. Did it auto save? Because I kind of want to choose a different option. Yeah, it did. Rewind. <laughs> That was a terrible one, guys. Like, just terrible. No, let's try this one more time. Your family used to be noble, right? By some definition of the term. Do you ever wonder what your life would have been like if you were still nobles? Such a nobility is just an expensive lifestyle. I've already got one of those. Nobles have power, too. And responsibilities. Estates, servants, investments, mercenaries, assassins. <laughs> Son. I don't know what you're talking... If... I am not going to lose my son because a handful of elves make up one. ridiculous stories. You'll not mention this again. Judging from your ability to corral your son, I don't have much to worry about. If we found this, others will too. I'll see to it. If you tell a soul about my son, I swear I will make things very, very difficult for you here in Kirkwall. Yeah, go shove it up your arms. <coughs> I didn't level up. God damn it. Well, then this seems like a really good place to stop. A slow save. And uh, I thank everyone for watching. And by everyone, I mean low fender, but anyone who shows up and decides to watch this on YouTube later or in my Twitch highlights. Uh, Thank you for watching. 
definitely appreciate the views. And uh, I'm enjoying Dragon Age 2 longer, longer, longer. Well, I guess that's kind of true too. I'm enjoying it more than I expected I would. And that's saying something. So, uh, no fancy music outros or anything. I'm not in that set up yet. But, uh, happy anyone could join me. And, uh, until next week, uh, goodbye, stream.